guys, Edgy Spitta here, coming at you with another Air Jitsu Flyer. This time, we are going to take a look at the Air Jitsu Moro Flyer. In this video, I review the Moro Air Jitsu Flyer. There's also a link down in the description of this video for Cole, if you guys would like to go check out Cole, if you have not already seen that. Set is number 70743 is the Air Jitsu Moro Flyer, recommended ages from 6 to 14, and has 46 pieces. Out here on the front of the box, you can see Moro up here on the top left corner, uh, right under the Lego Ninjago logo. Looks very nice. I love the effects coming off of them right there in the middle top. Now over here you can see at his flyer in the very nice dark green with Moro inside. Looks very nice as well as his flyer build down there and all of his weapons and minifigure over on the left. All the information is right there that we just covered as well as this very nice picture of Air Jitsu Moro. Looks very nice. On the back of the packaging here you can see all the air other Air Jitsu spinners in this line or air jitsu flyers I should say so used to doing um, do, doing stuff on the spinners um, forgive me if I say that a couple times in this video uh, you can see the air jitsu um, I guess you could say uh, I guess shurikens or something I'm not really sure I haven't watched a lot of the videos yet uh, you can see Moro here with all of his weapons as well as how to build his air jitsu flyer and send him off in to the air. So, very cool, very excited to open this thing up, so let's go ahead, open it up, do a little bit of a speed build for you guys, and I'll see you guys whenever this is done. everything that is included in the J Air Jitsu Moro Flyer. Real quick, I do want to take a look at the instruction manual. It looks very nice here on the cover. In the back, we've just got some uh, excerpts for obviously the new sets. And this very cool poster here for the Air Jitsu Flyers. And of course, advertising all the other ones. But very cool instruction booklet. I'm really liking the design on it. But anyways, Here's everything you get to get in the set. You get the very big Air Jitsu Flyer piece right here. Moro's is a very nice dark green, looking just like Spitta, so that's pretty cool. We have the cockpit piece in which Moro will go in. We have the actual launcher piece that you stick the ripcord in. And speaking of the ripcord, you have the ripcord. Mine came really bent, so I don't really know if that's good or not. My coal, whenever I reviewed the coal Air Jitsu Flyer, it didn't come as bent, so I don't know. That was always a problem with me with, like, the Chima Speedor sets and stuff. But anyways, you have the two shurikens here, because Moro did come with some weapons, so he got the shurikens that are still connected here, but I do this in every video that comes with these that... They have some very nice detailing on them, actually some like kinks and stuff in them, so like they look very nice, but if you just want to just pop them off like that, and then you've got your two shurikens. So, now he also comes with a few other things. He's got a transparent uh, yellowish green spider that looks very nice right here. He's got this sort of like a whip which has a very cool holder piece right here because that's the same piece that we got for the Statue of Liberty collectible minifigure. Looks very nice. It's in that olive green color, so that's always nice to get. We have some of those uh, claws that uh, the werewolf had from Monster Fighters and Wolverine, all that sort of stuff. Got two of them over here, as well as this super ginormous sword staff thingy with, like, unicorn holes, horns on it. <laughs> or at least that's what they look like. But they're in a very nice olive green color, so that looks very nice. Obviously intended to be spikes, all that sort of stuff. So it's got this really big samurai sword on it, on a staff with these spikes. So, pretty cool. I like that they actually took some time to put a decent staff together, so that looks pretty nice. Now, we also have the Moro minifigure. Which I have on the pedestal right here to look at automatically. You can see that he's got the transparent yellow legs that look just like the spider that he comes with. He's got some nice back printing right there, so if you guys want to see that, there you guys go. He's got the nice olive green arms as well as a nice black straight hair. Now if you take off his black straight hair, you get to his transparent uh, head as well, same color as his pants or legs. 
you can see that you can actually see all the way through it. You can see where it connects onto the body, which is pretty cool. Um, if I take that off, you can actually see his actual face, because he is wearing a ninja mask, or the one that Cole wore. You can see his face right there. looks very nice. I'm loving this Moro minifigure. It's absolutely amazing. You can see that he has Lloyd's suit on, because he does take over Lloyd's body, which is not really spoilers, because that happens in the first episode. You can see Lloyd's symbol right there, which is kind of turned into a ghost sort of so symbol, which looks pretty cool. And once again, the back printing right there. He's mostly dark green, olive green, and a little bit of light green with this very nice, um, I guess, transparent yellow color. So that's pretty much the Moro minifigure. Looks very nice. This is a great set if you want to get Moro in, unless you want to get a more expensive set. So I highly recommend if you guys want to get the leader of this series or the main bad guy, you guys go ahead and pick up the set. But anyways, let's go ahead and show, show you guys Moro in his Air Jitsu Flyer. Back to where we were before, I'm going to head and go ahead and put him into his cockpit, which is basically just a protective device so that he does not fall out of the Air Jitsu Flyer as well as not getting damaged. So I really like this. Now, you're also supposed to have the shurikens on him, but in this instance, he is not going to have any. Uh, go ahead and close up the cockpit on him. And there you go. He's stuck inside. He's not going to come out. If you drop him, it's not going to damage the minifigure or anything because he is hooked inside the cockpit. So that's pretty cool. Then you get your air jitsu flyer, and you're going to go ahead and set him in it so he slides in like so, and then you're just going to twist it so it does another click, and there you go. Now he's locked and loaded into his Air Jitsu Flyer, and now he's ready to go on the pedestal to launch. So you can see that all you have to do is literally just place him on top of the thing. Um, that's really all you have to do. It's very simple. Now as for the rip cord, the rip cord just comes in on this side right here, and as you can see whenever you push it in, he spins, and then whenever you withdraw it out, he goes flying. So with that example, that concludes my review of the Air Jitsu Mora Flyer. Like I said, check out the Cole Air Jitsu Flyer as well in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below what you guys think about Moro. Is he your favorite Air Jitsu Flyer? He's probably one of my favorites. I really love the green color scheme with that olive and the light green pieces, as well as all the transparent pieces like the spider and, of course, the Moro minifigure itself. Very good value to get Moro if you want to get him in a cheaper set. And overall, lots and lots of playability with these Air Jitsu Flyers. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Eiji Spitta. Make sure you guys go check out my other LEGO reviews. Subscribe so you never miss a video. Lots more videos, as always, coming soon, guys. So stay tuned for those. See you in the next video.